quick. Uh, I mean, he was. I mean, you get a runner on first. I mean, I just he he's on the next pitch already. Um, you know, I think he's a guy. You gotta. We just have the string hits together, and um, you know, I think uh, you know, he works really fast. So it's hard to you know hard to steal bases on him and stuff like that. But um, you know, a lot of change ups, a lot of off speed, a lot of ground balls. So um, you know, he's around the zone and um, just kind of one of those situa- one of those guys where you have to be you know it's kind of fine line of being patient and, and being aggressive. You know, so um, but you know, we we, we did all right and. Uh, I think if we saw him again, I think uh, we would do pretty well. So, to, the, to that point, what's the biggest takeaway or lesson that you can learn from pace, facing a pitcher like that? Um, I mean, I think, I mean, I think everybody honestly did, a, you know, they did all right, um, you know. But uh, I think it's important to uh, really just kind of, you know, own the batter's box in a way, and don't let them speed you up, and. Um, you know, I've, I've personally never faced a pitcher who worked that quick in my life. I remember just taking leads, and I mean, he's already on to the next pitch. He's got a pretty good pickoff move. So, um, you know, with one timeout to give, uh, you know, you have to be really, re- you have to be ready. You were talking about some adjustments that you made in the cage to be, make some adjustments to the plate to hit better. What did you see from what, what you did today and the adjustments that you made? Uh, really just trying to be shorter of the ball, kind of, you know, I got a lot of moving parts, and, um, you know, when it's on time, it's great, but it's uh, really hard for me to repeat. and. and um, you know, uh, Davey and DC and I, we kind of all talked and, um, you know, we're trying to figure out what we were, we're just trying to figure out what's comfortable, but also a little more simple and easy to repeat. So, um, you know, spread out a little bit today, hands were up a little bit higher and, um, you know, I felt like I was ready to hit uh, sooner. I was able to, you know, see pitching a little bit better today. You talked about the mindset that you brought in when you came back up a few weeks ago and um, the success you had that first week. Has you been able to keep that mindset even when results haven't been there the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, certainly frustrating. You always want results, but, um, you know, I, th- I look at it as like it was, it was a week of, you know, a week of, of tough hitting. And, um, you know, if I, if I were to play 162 games, one week isn't, um, you know, obviously I want to, you know, make a statement and stuff like that, but it's only one week and that's part of the game. And um, I think that's kind of where I've uh, matured a little bit from the years past versus now. Um, you know, just stick with it. And, um, you know, we made some good adjustments and um, we'll be back at it again.